Hello all, welcome to another episode of Blitz Gaming. Today we are playing ATS, or American Truck Simulator, part two. See we've got a message on the screen saying we've got, uh, there's an update, uh, basically telling you to check your mods for compatibility, because otherwise the game will crash, and basically get the new version of the mods if there's any available. You just go to the mod screen, you can see I've got none installed on the right hand side. So we ain't got no problem in that area. We're going to connect our profile, Blitz, to World of Trucks um, website. So everything we do when we do external contracts, it gets recorded. Make, you've got to make a login name and password account. Um, otherwise it won't work. Other thing, I'm not sure if I've showed you. The mailbox, it's nothing special. Um, the first one is basically tells you about the bank. And if you find any garages, uh, I'll tell you where the nearest dealer is um, and what dealer it is. So we've only Peter built one when we started. Just checking our setup. Put a lot of music. The other thing, we've got the photo uh, manager. Image spotlight. So these are photos I've got, I've taken and uploaded to World of Trucks. And they also go to Steam. I mean, when you use the photo shoot, uh, you can pan the camera, focus it, just like a normal camera, to make a good photo. And these are the ones that have been uploaded to World of Trucks, not by me, but other players. Great pictures they got. If you want to spend all day trying to make a great picture, it's fine. Not me. So let's get a contract. Right, still have to get your truck. We use this big camera up at the top. So we're going to um, Franco to Basto, machine parts. I'll get one of these trucks. I don't like driving them. They got. Um, I'll show you in a minute the reason why. Let's have a quick look. Nice bit of padding at the back. I suppose it'd be nice as being a simulator. You could actually sit on the bed, lay down on the bed, open up the storage boxes. But uh, we can't do things like that. If you look at the back there, that great big exhaust pipe gets in the way, and I can't stand that. I think it's a bit horrid. So, a quick look at the external view. Big old beastie thing. Also, the other thing I don't like about them is that, if I've done so in the last video, when the nose sticks out, it's flat. And it's got quite a narrow window as well. But otherwise, it's, it's, a, it's okay. Looks like a, a real beastie truck. Got the dash. Just quickly out change my mouse options. Maybe the mouse was not set up. So that you can see there, you can go through the uh, settings on the dash. Tell you about the air, and the miles you've got to do, and the miles you've done. Uh, it depends what truck you've got. So, uh, yeah, looking out that window, you can't see a lot. It's one of the reasons I, one of the main reasons I don't like driving these trucks. So, but we should drive it today just to show you what it's like. And one nightmare parking. I actually got the worst parking I've ever had in this game. Oops, look where I'm going. You know, cars do fly around when you're not looking. It's 
Yeah, I come across a, a parking spot where we've got to take the, uh, the freight to. I've never come across it before. I mean, I must have parked, I don't know, hundreds of times. And uh, I've never come across this one. And I thought, all right, it's a challenge. I should get in here. And uh, it took me about freaking 15 minutes to get parts. And I thought, well, I'm going to give up. I've got to try it out. In the future, we know how to get it in now. Make life easy uh, if we come across it again. I suppose uh, I should always mention, and I'll probably mention it in the last episode, and it always comes up on the forums, which did you buy, ETS or ATS? Um, ETS is the biggest, without a doubt, especially if you use Pro Mods. Um, it's a very, very large game. But obviously you've got to pay for a lot more expansion packs. So, there's three expansion packs in this. I think you get the first one for free. Uh, well, you did. I'm not saying you do now, you might be different now. But we've got another expansion pack coming out in Washington very soon for ATS. Um, and we had Oregon about five months ago or something like that. And we obviously had Mexico. I can't remember what the name of the first one was. It's been such a long time. But obviously, size wise, ETS is the biggest without, without, that, without doubt. So if you want a, a big game, ETS is probably your best bet. But you've got to pay for all the expansion packs. I think ATS has probably got slightly better appealing on the eye because everything's a lot more open and you have to go from the cities, everything's open. Uh, but there are some lovely places like you go from France, the new expansion pack France, Italy, um, the Baltic Straits, they've got some lovely places to look at. That really depends what you want really. I mean obviously ETS has got loads more trucks. I can't think how many, only eight, about eight I think. Or maybe more. Um, but it's just, it's just the way it is. I mean, hopefully they will bring Mac trucks into this game and freight liners and hopefully an, an overcab truck. Even though they'll be quite old for this game, but we nice to have one. But there are plenty of mods on the lot on the net you can download uh, to get a Mac truck and freight liners. And there is some mods to make a. Uh, I can't remember what the expansion pack is, the, um, the mod is, where they got like, go everywhere in America. But at the moment, you've got plenty of roads, but scenery wise, there's not really a lot to look at. Yeah, what I mean scenery wise, is basically no render. I mean, at the end of the day, it's literally, it'll be sand and you will notice, well, see no trees, no nothing. I mean, it's really, literally, plain, boring as hell. But that's the way to expect some mods are at the moment. Just got to wait for the, uh, the author to actually get it all going. Got to remember, United States is, uh, it's huge. Uh, I mean, if you're asking a mod, make it to make it all I mean you th think about it um, SES they release the mod of one, one of the counties or one of the states once a year and they said they might, they're going to be doing two a year um, I, I don't know how many states there are <laughs> I can't, I've got no idea but uh, you're talking about a mod to try to do them all again is going to take a few years to actually get anywhere he got handed to them. I mean, if they're willing to do the work for free, fine at the end of the day. I mean, I'm always quite happy to give them something at the end of the day. But the worst thing of mods is that when the game gets updated officially, the mod don't necessarily work. So you've got to wait, got to wait for the mod to update it again. But that's why if you want to use mods, you just got to put up with it. Yeah, 
Let's just not try and cause a crash again. Another thing about uh, American trucks. I don't know if it's the way the, the roads are or, or the way the game's made. Uh, it comes always quite far back on the road. You literally can't see around the bend. There's a lot obviously in ETS because you're a lot closer to the uh, the corner or the junction. Yeah, if you look at the scenery while we're driving down this road, uh, you see all the shops, and buildings are. A lot, a lot of open space, just like it is in the States. If it was in Europe, everything would be close together. So, because um, it's open, open up, I think it's a lot more appealing on the eye. I mean, there is obviously some places in the country uh, when you're driving in the ETS. It's lovely places to look at. Bakersfield, uh, you can have a garage here and a HQ if you want to start here. It's a good place to start. While we're here, we'll just quickly have a quick look on Steam and I'll give you the latest prices and expansion packs on Steam as it is, in case you want to buy the game. You can see there the main game is $14.99 and £38.9p for all the expansion packs, which comes to about, what, 53 quid and a bit. So um, it's not a bad price, considering uh, most games, modest expansion packs start at 50 quid. So I, I can't say it's expensive. I mean, if they had 50 DLCs at 50, um, nine pound each, I mean, that could work out quite near. But I would have thought at the end of the Steam, we will probably do a deal where you, you buy one, you get several things bunged in uh, for one price, as time goes on. But I can't be for sure. I mean, that's really up to Steam to do that. Police car. Can't feel what type of car that is, but it's a pretty sporty looking police car. A quick look on the outside. It's a nice day um, outside, can't complain. I'll just see if I've got the rain on. I think this, um, this episode and the last episode don't see the rain. Check the settings, see if we've got rain and people on. Quick speed up. We have a quick look at the map, see where we've got to go, or how far we've been. Not far, about halfway there. You see, there's a two question marks. I think the I should have highlighted it when I went drove past them. I don't know how I missed them. But it's sort of more money highlighted up.
it's getting dark now. Got the lights on. Come up to the destination. Make sure I'm getting the right lane. Yeah, nice old sunset. It does get dark, dark. In some places it gets really dark. In the next episode we're we use another truck and we go through the trucks, then I'll get a mod truck down. I'll probably get the freight liner down. If you go look at the freight liner. We'll go through the trucks will come in the game, so you know what I like. There is some mods on the deck where you can actually drive buses if you want to drive bus and cars. I don't know how money out of buses and cars, I suppose, but you can drive them. You download the mod. Come on, get up that hill. No stalling it. Let's go, let's go, it's clear. Oops, don't wish to paint work. It's not my truck. We have found Barstow. Discovered Barstow. Is that guy going to go? No, he's going to be a pain and stop. And sometimes the AI does these weird things, I've got no idea why. It seems that you're slightly in his, his line of sight and he don't like it. So this is where my nightmare starts. We've got to park this truck and, well, I didn't have to have a nightmare, but I decided to have a nightmare. I thought, okay, we're parking in the, um, over there, and I thought, when I said, okay, we do that, and I thought, that was a bad idea. When I'm facing the wrong direction, and what I should have done, I should have drove forward, so we're going around to the side. But I thought we're going to have a look, so I have a nightmare, so then I've got to reverse myself out. So there's not a lot of room. We get in there slowly. It takes me like forever to get in there. Bit of disaster, really. But we we got in there in the end. I make it worse. Uh, we, we're reversing on the wrong mirror. Did we get out of the truck? Don't get that glassy uh, exhaust in the way, get the pain in your backside. So we end up doing reverse up to uh, up to this corner, pull back out into the, the driveway, and we, we reverse back in all the way around the corner. Well, in about five, six attempts, mind you, but we get there in the end. And what I should have done, I should have just pulled up there, straight ahead, then basically had a nice reverse curve all the way around to the other side of the building. Yeah, I've never been here before. And so I thought, well, what's going on here? And it's been a long time since I've done an hard part. But I don't know, we'll get there in the end.
hand to it. A bit awkward because you've got a full lift down on the left hand side, you've got a little officer's hut on the right hand side as we come in this gate. It's like, okay, uh, what made the right matter this blinking parking? But as it is, uh, it's, just, it's a game, and it ain't, and you learn by mistakes. And we just do it again and again until we've done it. I mean, I could just press, since I've got through the gate, just press the return button, and it would just automatically park, so you've got no XP. I thought, ah, sorry. Let's give it a go. So at the moment, I'm too far one side. I'm going to get closer and closer to that fence. As we go around the corner, and we get too close to the office on the right hand side. So we decide to pull up and do it again. So now we reverse around, to the, around the fence. Just try and get lined up. Uh, I need to be closer to the building, the right hand side behind me. I'm never going to get around a corner. Now this is the sort of thing you expect to get after you've done about 20 of these uh, normal parkings. I thought, okay, I'll do that, but I thought, well, I already gave me an hard one on my second run. And I've never actually come across this uh, parking bay out of all the times I've played the game. So I'm way too far, let me see, too far to the right, and I need to be right on the left hand side. So that was a spin round as a reverse, and then we get a, the cab's going to hit the fence on the left hand side. So I found it too damn difficult. I've got to admit, this is the first time I actually get out and actually use the, the outside camera to, to park this truck. I've never ever done that ever since I played it. Well, actually, I might have done it when I first started playing it many years ago. And I'd rather use the mirrors. I thought, well, I just could not get it in that spot. So I thought, a bad cheat. First time in my life. I thought we'd cheat. Uh, make life easy for myself. And if it weren't this truck, and if I was, the mirror was, I could use the, uh, the near side mirror, so again, if it was like a right hand turn, that would have been a lot, a lot, lot easier. I thought, I can't see without blinking the exhaust in the way, and the far mirror is too awkward to keep looking down to the left hand side. I should say the right hand side. Now we've done that, we just pull forward, straighten up, and reverse in. Um, we do that about two, three times just to make sure it's nice and straight. That noise, by the way, is where I've reversed so many times, I run out of air. So I'm now going to neutral. Got the engine going. Pump the air up, back up, so I can reverse. So now we're nice and straight, getting out. Now it's all about, I think about 10, 10 minutes or so to get in there. I mean, I obviously cut a lot of it out. There's the pointless having, we keep going back and forwards. But in theory, you told you how to do it. If you come across it. And there we are, done. And hopefully next time we come, we do it correct the first time around. And we have a proper truck as well. Oh, a truck, what makes my life easy. We've got some XP. We're going up slowly, we're still a newbie. And we have pick, um, we do another one of the hazard cargoes. Get them unlocked. So the more we get them done, the more cargoes we can pull. And 
and that's me done. We're up to what 13,000, 13,500 now. Long way to get a truck, but we're getting there closely. Okay, that's me done. I'll see you all in the next episode of Blix Gaming. Have fun all.